Now new at four o'clock, a teenager is an example of how a life can change in an instant. The 17 year old from Cherokee County is in intensive care after breaking his neck, diving into a swimming pool. Channel 2 Steve Gelbach is at Wellstar Kennestone in Marietta, where he spoke with the teen's family. They wanted to share this story in hopes others can learn from it after their son and brother almost died. He's still here in the ICU. He was fighting for his life. Now he'll have to fight to return to his life. It turns into disaster. It's hard to protect your kids. 17-year-old Landon Elder should be starting his senior year at Cherokee High, going to football games, playing soccer, hanging out with his younger brother and two sisters, doing things he loved, but everything changed the night of July 28th. He was a normal kid, going out, tons of friends, worked hard, played hard, and uh, a great kid. And in a blink of an eye, you, you're, in, you're in a hospital bed. His dad, Adam, says Landon was with a group of eight friends goofing around at a community pool. He ended up jumping into a pool uh, head first. That wasn't as deep as he thought it was. The water was only about five feet deep. Landon broke a vertebrae in his neck, almost drowned. He was at the bottom for about 30 seconds, they said. Um, they ended up pulling him out. Um, they had to pump out his stomach with uh, getting the water out of his lungs and stuff. Landon was rushed to Wellstar Kennestone Regional Medical Center in Cobb County, where he's still in the ICU, paralyzed from the chest down. But they're working to have him sit up and regain any mobility. He does have a little bit of feeling in his forearms, um, but that's it at this point. Despite his spinal cord injury, Landon's in good spirits and his family's hopeful for his future. He was recently able to make a trip outside where he was able to smile, enjoy some fresh air and sunshine. And his dad says they're grateful for the support, outreach from the community and thousands in donations collected so far cover medical bills, rehabilitation, and help adjusting to their new reality. We truly just want to thank them. Um, Landon's going to have a hard order ahead of him, and um, that's going to help him uh, have the best life uh, possible at this point. Doctors say he'll likely never be able to move his legs or walk again, but in the next week, they're hoping to have Landon transferred to the world-renowned Shepherd Center in Midtown Atlanta for his best chance of recovery. And if you want to learn more or help with donations, family and friends set up a GoFundMe for Landon Elder. You can find a link to it in this story on our website. In Cobb County, Steve Gelbach, Channel 2 Action News.